this is uh, the T34 3 review, and we're, we're, we're slaying uh, the guy who gifted this to me kindly. Uh, so say hello. Hello. Okay, and so let's get to the equipment setup. I would like to put vertical stabs, rammer, and vents. Uh, you could alternatively take op coded optics because it has a uh, 396 actual view range, which is not bad. And, uh, or maybe gun lane drive if you feel like it. But I feel like improving everything, so with the vents, it's probably a better option. Now, you would get the same gun as the 112, the 111, but this gun feels not as, um, let's say, unreliable as the 111's gun. And I recommend you to have this ammo load up because heat rounds will really guarantee you uh, the wins you need I'm gonna explain it in a while so uh, the crew you should just get it from your other tanks this is from my one two one so it's very well experienced and yeah this tank I think is worth the gold in my opinion if if you're good at um, tanks with no gun depression and Slayin personally he has experienced the fact that before he played um, the T-34 Three, he had no experience with Chinese zero gun depression tanks, and um, he did suffocate in the beginning. But now he's enjoying it uh, really well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's way better now. So I, I got already f my fifth ace tanker already. Uh, so I have formed my opinion that this tank is awesome. But because I got ace tankers so easily, it really showcases that it doesn't work for most people. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend it to mo any uh, to most people, but only for the ones who would take up the challenge uh, to play such tank. So we'll see you next time. And uh, now I'm first game, and this is the first ever game I've played in the T34-3. And guess what's gonna happen? We will have a look here. So immediately I realized the, the crap gun depression on this tank, as I didn't even manage to put a shot into the Walker Bulldog, but. I, I remember just ages ago, once playing the 120 first, the WZ 120, how I, I, I can outdo, like, basically uh, use the gun depression. This tank is really just a premium WZ 120. If you love the WZ 120, then I see no reason to say no to this premium tank uh, for a number of reasons. So, first, if you master the WZ120 uh, and the 121, uh, you're gonna have no problem with any vehicle in the game that has poor gun depression. Really, th this is as bad as you're ever gonna get for a gun depression, I think. Uh, maybe beaten by some tank destroyers, um, but I'm not exactly sure on that. Uh, so you can see the damage is very, very, very good. I have 11. 11.3 sec, 11.30 uh, second reload. So I've already done so much damage. Just slapping them with this alpha damage, it is truly amazing. Just to do this thing to an, an opponent when you're in a medium tank, which can, which shouldn't really do this much of this much damage, really, in honest opinion. But this is spectacular tank, uh, as we're gonna demonstrate in a moment just need to get the gun down you gotta make sure that sometimes people make mistakes like climbing up here that was a fairly poor shot in the circumstances I shouldn't have uh, shot him anyway because it's a T95 and I'm not in a WZ 120 I'm in a T-34-3 with the same gun as the IS-6 112 and all those tanks but uh, the IS-6 has the best rate of fire out of all of them which means the best DPM out of all of them. I put one shot into the Black Prince, and now I'm thinking, well, my next step is to go down and kill the E75 if needed. If needed. I'm trying to think about who I need to shoot. Uh, the 87 does not shoot me, so I need to quickly run away from here. And Black Prince trying to take me out here. Uh, he does try to do something to me, but I'm like, holy shit, I need to take out the Lava. Now you can see I got more alpha than the lava, and this is what makes it awesome sometimes to do, is to just destroy enemy heavies like this. And you can see he missed me there, I juked him pretty hard, Black Prince putting shots into me, and now I'm like, okay, time to destroy him. I'm predicting where he would be, I'm thinking, okay, he's there, I put one shot, misses, 
but this time I, I'm like okay I need to rescue base maybe oh no I'm loading the gold round for the black prince actually um, or the E75 or the IS8 depending on who wants it now you don't 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 think about you know gold spamming and all that you'll need the gold this is this gun on the Chinese tanks is what makes it different from the IA-6, the Russian one, 2.2mm. This one has fires this high explosive anti-tank uh, shell that obliterates, drills holes into the enemy uh, for a number of good reasons. Uh, first, it has two, how much pen? I think 250, 250 pen, yeah, with heat. So why don't you want to fire heat if you can't pen them anyway? <laughs> it's, it's just no brainer to use heat when when you see an E75 and such. I was told by Slane that you know this I'm gonna lose this game. I was like, yeah, I think so. I think so as well. So the game is getting very very bad at the moment. I'm in, I'm not sure whether on who I should take out. And look at this shot. I'm I'm gonna squeeze out on him. This is this is just literally situational awareness. Uh, you really gotta know what you're doing. So I wait for a bit. How much money do you bet that he will pop out after he's not spotted? <laughs> I wait for a bit just to wait to make him think that you know <laughs> he, he's safe, and then he drives out again. I nuked him, and he called me a spammer noob. Spammer noob. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> he blames me firing gold at them when there's a flipping E75 in front of me. I have to fire gold uh, too reliably to win, to actually do something in this game actually because I, I really want to do a really good game, really good first game. It's quite essential. And I've heard from saying how much the heat rounds do it on the medium tank. Now, the thing is. I've played, I got the W111, I know how this gun really performs. It feels like this gun performs better on this tank than the 111 because, actually that's a fact actually because um, the T-34-3 got buffed with the gun performance, that gun dispersion performance, so it fires better on the move by 25% than its original values when this tank was first released. So yeah, th it's probably why then, and uh, E-75 just fired, I saw the shell come out of him. And lower plate, there goes the, the nice shot into him, and I picked up two kills. I am almost, almost on 4k, da uh, uh, 5k damage now. I am thinking, well, hold up, let's just, let's just now help out the team and destroy the enemy uh, T95 and 80, uh, 87 SU152. But I'm gonna make a massive mistake, as you're gonna see. It's the worst mistake I've made in a while. <laughs> it's just so terrible. So let's go to this mistake here. No gun depression. So you know what? I was trying to kill this guy, but I realized no gun depression. That guy snapshots me with some degree of luck to blast me in the house. And then the Black Prince called me a noob again. Yeah, you, you think noobs like me, right? Who did 5k damage getting called noobs. And that is the end of this game. We lost it. And first ace tanker. This is the third game I've played in the T-34-3 and uh, just check out the game here. Slaying, it really pissed Slaying off in this game because I got my second ace in my third game ever played. That, that's what makes it so funny. And um, you got, we're, we're gonna see just how I'm able to use my gun depression. Well, how I'm gonna use this no gun depression to be uh, yet still effective. So first of all, you drive to a nice high ground, put your tank on the side like this, then you would have gun depression because you turn your turret traverse into more vertical aim so that you would have uh, produced some gun depression. We, you don't have something, you can manufacture it in Chinese tank. No problem, don't worry. No problem at all. First shot connected, then come on, come on. Well, one shot in here, please. There, side down. Nice and nice and good. So Saiyan's taken a beating already, and he's just took some more. Not a very good start, is it? And I'm thinking, well, 
what should I do now? I'm, I'm checking on my side all the time to guarantee that I do not do anything stupid. I do not get anything stupid. So I give a little nudge here and round kill the SU-1250 and that is the end of his story there. And then I, gotta, I don't want to go up there because my front armor is not that good. I have six Hemi quite easily, even with that 175 penalties. So, the good thing about this tank is that you get heat rounds. Heat rounds are really going to go through the enemy easily. Now, the problem with the heat round is that I found that long range sniping the tortoise, if you don't hit his weak spot with the heat, you're not going to pen him, like literally spam him to death. But you can see you can do this type of thing. You just come up and just go kaboom and unleashes the damage. Now, I don't have shots on the GW, or will I? No, I don't go for the GW, because he's not the most important dangerous threat to me yet. And the, the shitty um, accuracy shows there, I just can't hit him. Well, let's put the uh, tank on its side and see what happens. I don't want to shoot that dude there because I can't pen him reliably. Oh, I'd rather do my damage on the ones I would pen and um, do damage, of course. Look what the Tiger P on my side doing. No, 111 does wrong there. It's why did he show. Why did he drive in the open so everybody can shoot him? You know, you can. You always want to stay behind a ridge line where you can back up. And then here is just carnage. I'm hold down against all of them. They can't really do anything about me. <laughs> I got them in the back. This is ideal, ideal situation to be in. This thing has the same acceleration, the same engine power, I believe, as the Type 59. So it's no sluggish than the Type, not, not at least not, no, not that major anyway, if there is any, because uh, it has a bigger gun. Okay. Maybe it's slightly, slightly. Let's say slightly slower, but I don't think so. Uh, I think it's similar. Um, so. One, two, two, I feel like this is actually to do or something, but I actually bounce something. The thing about this thing is that you can have turret armor, which is nice. You can actually go hold down, and most people probably want this. Well, how can I use the turret armor if I don't have any, uh, let's say, gun depression? You, well, you're seeing it here right now. Look at this carnage. I've, I've been doing so well just by showing them my turret. You line your tank on the side, like I'm doing here. Uh, either 45 degrees to the side or a bit more, you will have your gun depression. Get hit by easy fire, but close in the range is more important. And he rounds, I don't want to keep firing heat at him because, God, I, I won't end him with a regular AP. So, it's the only choice for me to do something to this guy here. I don't need to aim really carefully if I want to smash him in the lower plate. And I have to go around him, but no gun depression. Well, I really don't before you do, and uh, uh, you die. But here I took a massive hit from the E25, and for my mission, I think I was. I had to do. I can't remember what I had to do, but I already done my mission, so it was pretty GG already. And uh, I'm not gonna escape from the Carnarvon, so I go for, to do a bit more damage by ramming him. And I don't think I actually did any more damage, but oh well. That was almost 6k damage in a, t in a T-34-3 in a tier 9 game so yeah that that's awesome as well <laughs> you can see it works for me I don't know why it does